Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So uh, Thanksgiving weekend is on the go in the USA, so uh, don't expect much in the afternoon sessions. So uh, whatever we do is pretty much going to be uh, low volumes and uh, going to be only in the European session. So first things first, we have a wedge forming here on uh, Euro USD. There is top side of it, there is the underside of it. So we have a bit of consolidation forming, could be a double bottom forming as well. Now the way I look at it, you can see off a level, then we've got an exhaustion bar down and an inside bar here. So oscillators indicating, be careful of your shorts. And if you come back to the one hour, you'll see um, the next level to be selling off is going to be 112.262. Your stop is going to be above the high of yesterday, and you're looking for another move down, more than likely, to come and test this trend line that's formed here. So, uh, isn't a wedge. I don't expect much fireworks today. Uh, a public holiday pretty much today and tomorrow in the USA. So, uh, sell off uh, for me, it is a sell off 112.262. Uh, pretty tight stop above the high of yesterday and we're looking for some way to test test somewhere around the lows of yesterday and um, something like that so uh, that's what we're looking on euro usd moving on to usd J japanese yen uh, bit of a warning here with oscillators indicating we do have a bit of a level uh, i still would prefer buying off 114.956 wasn't really clear yesterday so if we go to the one hour uh, you'll see what I mean. We drop below the level and then we sort of up, down, up, down, up, down until we eventually broke through and uh, continued up. So um, here is another level on the hour which you should be paying attention to. And that is somewhere in the area of 115.225. So price gets back down here. You're looking for structure on it. So uh, pin bar, engulfing bar, inside bar. On that level, you're looking to buy. Uh, stop area is below the low of yesterday, which is fairly far away. Um, the other thing that I would also pay attention to is just a Fibonacci. So what you're looking for is 50, 60% Fibonacci. And down there is a level. So um, pull back onto 115. 114 you can see the inside tail as well so pull back onto that stop below the low and you're looking for another move to the upside lastly make sure that you have the current trend line drawn in and you'll see it intersects in two areas so that's the zone that we're looking for um british pound japanese yen still in this triangle still pretty much in amongst the moving averages no real uh, trend that's formed yet on the eight hour we drop down to the one hour uh, we do have a crossover of the um, moving averages, but look at this chaos from yesterday. Big up, big down, big up, big down, big up, big down. So um, I basically just wanted to leave all that, have a look at that. And uh, that is sideways, not interested in it. So we will sit on the sides with that. Uh, moving on to Euro, British pound, and pretty much the same picture here. We've had the big move down. We've got the consolidation. We still have these two measured moves in from a break of the range, but we haven't got the break of the range. So uh, the setup stays exactly the same as what it was yesterday until we break the upside 084274. Um, there is no trade to the upside, and, and uh, the same as with the move to the downside, we need to break 083842. And remember, when, with me, it's a break and a retest. I need to break and I need to see a retest before getting into it. Otherwise, we wait for the next bit of structure. So, um, yeah, that's also sit on hands. So I suspect we're going to have a fairly slow day today and tomorrow, but uh, unless something, you know, some catalyst hits us. But uh, that's kind of my view at the moment. So um, be careful. Uh, don't try to get sucked into the, the holiday trading. Volumes are going to be really, really thin. And it's not going to be not going to be interesting or fun. Uh, so maybe just take a break. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.